watching the Tyrant's legendary walkthrough for Halo Anniversary. Today we're going to evade the Flood and the Covenant while we rescue Captain Keys. Wait a minute. He's not a very good captain. I want you to just fire him. Why don't I fire you? What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Tyrant's legendary guide for Halo Anniversary. Today we are doing the mission Keys. I love this mission. It's very unique to the Halo series. It is all-out war between the Covenant and the Flood. There is so much Team AI fighting here. It is unbelievable, and it's extremely entertaining. I love this mission just for that reason, but it's also an extremely difficult mission. Not so much because of the Covenant factor as much as the Flood factor. And I'll show you why in a minute. The skulls I have on are Iron, Grunt, Birthday Party, and Bandana, because this is a no-deaths run. If you were not caring too much about the no-deaths part, don't worry about Bandana. I just like having the extra grenades uh, for the pockets of Flood that spawn in multiple waves, and I'll get into that in a minute. So here we have a Grunt who's comically running from an armless Flood combat form. There is an active camo back there, but hold off on that for a second. Go ahead and clear these guys out. There is a Flood with a shotgun over here, and you're going to want to take that shotgun. It's going to be extremely useful to you and the easiest one to obtain by far. That human form pretty much always has a shotgun. The assault rifle is useful here just for clearing out these Flood infection forms. And so now we're going to go ahead and take this shotgun wherever it is. Let's see, there's the body. Okay, that's the hole we're going to jump in. And yes, that is what she said. Let's see. Where is this thing? Ah, here we go. So now we have ourselves a shotgun. Very effective against the flood. The only came where it really is. So now we're going to go back and get this uh, active camouflage bit right here. There we go, and this gives you the maximum amount of time to try to get around the battles as much as you can. This will get you the furthest through. Because there's one crucial area that you want to try to avoid fighting. And I'll show you that in a second, so just jump straight down here, you won't die. And Chief isn't camoed in that cutscene, but that's alright. So jump out, get your bearings, the Flood and the Covenant are at it, you've got elites, you've got combat forms, just jump over them, no big deal. You should have plenty of time on your active camo to make it through this next battle. Very intense battle between the Covenant and the Flood here. The cruiser's just sitting on top of the cliffs. It's crazy. It's crashed. The coolant's leaking out. A ton of Flood are going to come out from this corner, so go ahead and toss a couple of frag grenades over here. There's two waves of them. And if you got your camo timed right, you shouldn't have anyone shooting at you from the back. Now, a bunch of carriers are going to drop down from the... Yeah, there we go. From the cliff walls. I don't know how the cruiser is sitting up there. Um, some are going to be coming out from the openings. You've got a few combat forms over here. This is why I left off Boom and Grunt Funeral. Because it gets extremely cha chaotic around this particular area. It's very easy to die. Um, between the carrier forms exploding and the grenades that are just kind of laying around. Um, I've had a lot of casualties here. So you've got a sniper rifle. We're going to pick that up real quick. You've got another intense battle between the Covenant and the Flood. This time there are two hunters involved. We're going to want to down those hunters as quickly as we can. The Flood will eventually do it. But we're going to speed up the process just a little bit. It's a little bit... Uh, I think I got their attention. Nope. Another reason why we left off Boom. Okay, we basically have infinite waves of carrier forms spawning here. What I highly recommend doing is taking out the hunters and a few of the elites, but not all of them. That way, when you jump down there, the carriers still have an objective that isn't you. And that's the big thing. Otherwise, they'll all be coming at you, they'll all be blowing up near you, and... <laughs> I don't like things blowing up on me, what can I say? So, okay, so finally, the, it looks like the infection form's got that first hunter. We got him. So, now we need to hold back and just see how many of the elites are there. There is a health pack there if you need it. So far, we're doing okay. There's usually one 
minor and a couple of officers or uh, major elites over there. So we're going to see if there's any grenades laying around, just in case any flood carriers explode next to us. We want to try to make this as quick and painless as possible. The elite should be occupied by the flood. Try not to piss him off too much. It looks like he's already getting his ass handed to him. Now here, our objective is that shade turret right there. We want to get inside that shade turret. So snipe that elite. Don't worry too much about the grunts. They won't cause you a lot of harm. Shotgun, blast, do just fine. And just start plowing the road right here. A ton of flood are going to come out from this corner. Multiple waves. This is one of those pockets I was referring to. They're not infinitely spawning, but there's probably three or four waves of flood that just come out of there. It's very easy to get overwhelmed here if you don't take this carefully. Now, as long as you're in this shade turret, the infection forms cannot get to you. As soon as you come out, they're going to start swarming you anyway, but there's only a few of them here. Now, the best way to tell if any flood are about to assault your location is just checking your radar. You can tell easily if they're combat or carrier forms versus just simple infection forms. This is probably the only place in the campaign that I actually use the shade turret. But it is extremely effective here, so try not to throw any grenades, try not to throw it off course. This is the perfect lineup for killing these waves of flood. And it looks like we've got them. There's still a couple of that hide around the corner, but at least they won't advance anymore. So we're going to take care of these infection forms real quick just to eliminate the competition. There's that carrier just sitting there. Or that uh, cruiser, I'm sorry. The carrier's the big one. We want to try to... There we go. We got a pistol now. So we've got the ultimate weapons for this mission. We're going to take out these guys. There's usually two waves hiding up there. Yep, there's the second wave. And that should be all of them. You'll have a third wave that'll pop up from that archway. So go ahead and lay down the road with grenades. These are not infinitely spawning. It's just one wave here. But you will have a, a ton of infection forms that just sort of drop down. Again, not a real big deal. They didn't really cause us any trouble. So we're just going to go ahead and go forward. This is an extremely brief battle between the Covenant and the Flood. I highly recommend dropping a grenade over there. You'll have a bunch of uh, combat forms. Some have shotguns. And then you've got a few lining these cliff walls. They're not really a big threat to you. They mainly have plasma weapons, but the one over there on the right-hand side does have an assault rifle, and he's pretty accurate with it, too. So you just want to snipe these guys. If they get back up, it's not a big deal, because they're not going to jump down and come after you. So as long as they don't have weapons, they can't actually hurt you. There's that geometry getting in the way. There, come on. There's that assault rifle, dude. Okay, so he's unarmed now, so it's not a big deal. We're just going to keep going forward. Again, a few infection forms are going to trickle down from the cliffside. I highly recommend taking them out. Just beyond there is the gravity lift. That's where you want to go. That's going to take you back inside the ship. The and there was another battle raging between the Covenant and the Flood right under where you need to go. Now, if you wait long enough, the Flood will win. If you want to speed up the process a little bit, it's not overly difficult. You can toss a couple of grenades up there. It's not going to make a world of difference. But it may speed things up a little bit, especially if there's any stray grenades up there, or if you manage to stick in a lead. But basically, you just want to wait till the fighting calms down a little bit. Now, over there on the right-hand side, there's an overshield. We're going to want to pick that up, and we want to use that as long as we can. There are only a couple of overshields in this mission, and you want to use them to the best of your ability. They definitely come in handy here. You pretty much have another infinite spawning wave of flood here. 
up until you reach a certain point. It looks like we're pretty clear. There might still be an elite up there from what I gather, so go ahead and grab the overshield. Looks like we have a couple of combat forms in the way. Not a big deal. Hit them at point blank range with the shotgun. They will go down. Looks like we have one elite that's just kind of... Oh, we have two elites up there. We're going to fight off these guys real quick. And you want to get there as quickly as possible. That way you only have enemies coming at you from one direction. The worst thing you can do is get yourself surrounded. So toss some grenades over here. And in just a couple of seconds, you'll be beamed back up just like this. Now, this is another reason why we left Grunt Funeral off. Because all these little guys will explode otherwise. Because the game counts them as dead even though you didn't kill them. You have a few carrier forms over here. Go ahead and shotgun them. Um, if you're not quick about it, you'll have carriers coming at you from behind too. And that's never a good thing. You've got carriers and combat forms down here. You've got a couple of combat forms up on the level with you. They're not really much to worry about. These guys just happen to have a shotgun and a pistol. Their weapons are pretty random. That guy with the shotgun at the beginning is almost the only one I can count on to consistently have the same weapon every time. Now, I like to clear out the bottom floor um, to the best that I can see. Over there in the far right corner, there is an overshield and health packs. We will want to get that overshield. If you're low on health, the health packs obviously will help you as well. And when you get close, the big doors will open. And another large wave of combat forms are going to come right at you. So just be ready. Okay, so here we go. Those doors are going to open. And just go ahead and toss that grenade. And you should be able to kill most, if not all of them. And this will give you free a free ride over here to this overshield. So now we can continue on. Now through the door, you're going to have three waves of flood. One in the corridor, one in the little pocket down there, and one in the corridor just to the right of that. So that's our first wave. Second wave is toast. The third wave is right over here. Don't know if that got them or not. Oh, nope. So that's wave number three. You want to go through the hole right here. Yeah, giggity giggity. Um, there are three carrier forms lingering around down there. And you want to take those out first so they don't explode all around you. And make a mess. Make a mess of that nice overshield that you have. Let's see, that's two. Where's three? There he is. There's one lingering in the corridor just beyond. Actually, there's a couple of them over there. Oh, he was a little bit too close for comfort. That, again, is why we have the overshield. There is another group of Flood just beyond this bend. This is another place where the Covenant and the Flood are just tearing each other apart. There's going to be a lot of backpedaling here. Now again, fragmentation grenades are great against the flood, great against grunts and jackals. I use the plasma grenade to mainly take out the elites because it's more effective against their shielding. I'm going to use the shotgun to finish these guys off. This grunt's getting a little too brave. I'm gonna finish him off here. There we go. I'm gonna stick this guy. Oh yeah, that's just the way I like it. Blue balling those pesky elites. I know the ladies are enjoying this right about now. So now we're gonna move forward a little bit more. We got more flood and covenant down here. The miner should be pretty easy to deal with, especially with a shotgun. It really doesn't take much to deal with him. Check this out. Stumbled backwards and fell. So 
we have another wave of flood that's going to emerge over here. To finish off these Covenant. We're going to frag them to death. And, we should, and you're going to have Flood that's going to start attacking you from the behind. So go ahead and try to rush the docking bay. Now this is an area you definitely want to rush. Because even though you've got a bunch of elites in the middle, you're going to have a bunch of Covenant coming from this door right here. So you want to be quick. We're going to try to distract those guys a little bit. Flood will eventually meet them. But it's very easy to get caught in a bad place here. So we're in the clear, so we're going to proceed forward. There's going to be grunts running from more flood combat forms here. There you go. Shotgun to the face, buddy. Lots of flood. This is definitely a game where they earn their name. Same deal with this next corridor. More fleeing grunts. They seem a little bit braver. And more combat forms. Again, watch out for stray grenades because it's very easy for a chain reaction to go off just like that and for you to get caught right in the middle of it. Whenever your shields go down, get ducked back into cover. You do have that luxury. You shouldn't have anything attacking you from behind. Alright, so we have more infection forms here. Not a big deal. We have full shields. Almost full health. More combat forms. This time it's just combat forms. No covenant. They don't seem to chase you very far as long as you have enough distance between you to begin with. We're just going to get this last group right here. This guy tried to run. And this is a familiar setting. We encountered this in Truth and Reconciliation, but instead of Covenant over here, it's a bunch of Flood. This is another pocket where you're going to be fighting a few waves of Flood, not just the ones that are set there. So again, grenades do come in handy here. Watch your radar. A lot of these guys do have shotguns. Very devastating to your shields and health. Just take your time. Backpedal as you need to. Just do not get caught up close and personal. There are some situations where I like that, but this is not one of them. Not with zombies anyway. That's necrophilia. So up here, this is where things get really rough. Just the way your mother likes it. We've got more Flood and Covenant coming at each other. I like to touch that little crate right there because they seem to engage each other a lot more. And they get the Flood to advance a little bit. These plasma grenades against the Covenant. You're going to have a bunch of Flood here. Again, this is one of those areas where multiple waves will strike you. I'm going to go ahead and clear out these stray grenades. So I don't have to worry about getting caught in the middle of them. Take your time here. They are not infinitely spawning, but there are a lot of Flood. Now, if you're really daring here and you don't care about not dying, you can just simply run in there, fight off the initial wave, and you're in the clear. If you're like me and you're taking it a little bit more cautiously, just hold back and go ahead and eliminate all the Flood. We've already spaced most of them out, so it's not that big of a deal at this point. That guy just flew in my visor. Dick. So we've got a few carriers lingering around there. I think that's it. No, nope, there's another combat form. And more. See, there's a lot of flood here. Good to have those extra grenades. And it looks like we've cleared it out. Checking the radar... So now we need to get keys. Now this poor guy just can't stop getting caught and it finally got to him. Here we go. Let's bust some heads open. No 
human life signs detected. The captain, he's one of them. God, I guess he died giving the flood a blowjob. Can't let the flood get off this ring. You know what he'd expect. What he'd want us to do. Not gonna lie, that was a little bit disgusting. So, here's how you want to play this out. Again, it's going to be Flood and Covenant. You want to trigger the Covenant first. Open the door so that the Flood will engage them. Otherwise, you'll have to deal with everything yourself. And these just aren't any Covenant. These are the Strike Team Covenant. I call them Strikers. The Striker Grunts are typically armed with Fuel Rod Guns. They're beasty. The Striker Elites are the only ones in the game that can actually chuck grenades at you and with deadly accuracy at that. I believe in later games these guys were upgraded to Ultras. Because we don't see Strike Team Elites in any other game. So now that the Covenant are clear, the Flood are a lot easier to deal with in general. So I'd rather deal with them than the Strike Team Covenant. You can recognize Strikers due to their black armor. You really only encounter them for a little while in two betrayals, briefly at the end of the mission here, and then pretty much all out in the Maw. And then you never see them again. So we're going to get rid of these. We're going to check around, make sure there's nothing else hanging around here. Whoop, yep. That's what I thought. Room should be clear. This is a very different looking place from the first time we were aboard the Truth and Reconciliation. I'm not even sure if this is the same ship or not. They never actually say that this is, in fact, the Truth and Reconciliation, I don't believe. It could just be another Covenant cruiser. Okay. This is the last bit. Just have a few infection forms here, and outside you've got more Strike Team Elites along with some striker grunts. Again, fuel rod guns and plasma grenades. You could, in theory, try to run by them to get your Banshee down below, but with all that firepower between the fuel rods, the grenades, and that stationary gun, it really isn't worth the risk unless you really just plan on doing this part over and over again. There's our fuel rod guy right there. I think I threw that grenade off the ledge. Whoops. Okay, reticle's red, so he's right there around the corner. <coughs> You've got them both on the, the right-hand side and straight ahead. Gonna kill this guy right here. Yep, see, there's one of those grenades right now. Again, deadly accuracy. Grunts kind of mortar them over, kind of lob them. Whereas grenades, like, elites just sit there and, like, pitch it at you. So we're gonna deal with this guy over here. I. No, we didn't get him. I bet I got him that time, though. Yep, I see that thing flying. Okay, well, I'm in I'm in good shape. So there should be one left. There we go. And now our last elite moved over here. So we can take them out. So I'm going to weaken his shields a little bit since he's in hiding. And now I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and toss a grenade over there. See if I can finish him off. And he dodged. All right, so now we're going to try this again. Come on, one more. Almost there. There we go. The top level should be clear at this point. We have a stationary... Get Whoa, okay, maybe not. We do have a stationary gun on the middle level, so we want to take that out. Again, makes life just a little bit easier for us. And at this point, two Banshees should be arriving, driven by two Striker Elites. It's very easy to get them. You just need to drop down. 
Try not to take any fire and get in as quickly as possible. So he's hopping out now and finish him off. All right, that is a good way to end the mission right there. Good assassination against the Striker Elite. And then just drive straight out. And that is Keys on Legendary with No Deaths. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate. Check out my site, mythictyrant.com. As always, I'm the Tyrant, signing off.